What's going on? How are you guys today? I'm going to show you a full day of eating, what I've been doing lately to heal my liver from the carnivore diet, which is an unfortunately long process and we've done so many videos on it, going into specific details, explaining things, especially in the past few months. So this is going to be kind of like a brief overview of the three meals I'm eating today, what the foods are, if I'm taking any supplements, probiotics, all of that stuff. So we're sitting here for breakfast and this is what I've been doing for breakfast. So we have the corn and soy free pork sausage from Frankie's free range meat, good source of protein, of course, cholesterol, main nutrition of this meal. We have the carbohydrates, oatmeal, organic. This is also fiber, feed the gut bacteria, have something for you know the bile from the liver to soak into and move through the digestive system. And then we have the apple, which is higher water, higher volume, more gut motility, more fiber, sugar to feed the gut. With every meal I take, you know, about half a teaspoon of mastic gum. This keeps things moving, keeps H. pylori out of the stomach, which I got originally from drinking raw milk. So <laughs> if I never drank the raw milk, I would probably have never had to discover the mastic gum protocol, but that's a whole different story. We do have some water kefir grains and some water kefir that I will be drinking with this meal, about half the bottle. And this is our new electrolyte blend which has a little bit of sodium, salt, magnesium, potassium, na all natural sources, very, very, very tasty and good and hydrating, as well as being an excellent probiotic to help digest the carbohydrates, keep the candida at bay, and uh, give us a lot of B vitamins. Kefir grain, just adding some complexity, uh, more of those diverse probiotic strains to the gut. You kind of want to use a little bit of both to be in ideal health, not just the water kefir, not just the water kefir grains. When you combine both of them, it's excellent, excellent, excellent. Each of them on its own is pretty good though. And for supplements today, uh, we're going to actually do kind of like a mineral repletion. Is that a word? Repletion? I tend to make up my own words, but we're going to do selenium because I've been using iodine lately, some boron, uh, molybdenum, and manganese. So that's going to be the mineral repletion that I don't normally take every day. And then we're also going to do some vitamin B1 with the meal. Now, normally I would do uh, magnesium and vitamin C almost every day. Uh, sometimes I'll add vitamin B9 and zinc. And uh, sometimes I'll do a little bit of K2. Yesterday we actually did some B complex. So I don't like taking everything at once. I think it is more stress on the liver, on the body to process so many things. So, you know, today we're like separating the minerals, which since these are very natural low amounts of minerals, you know, we can easily take all of these at once with a meal and feel okay. Can't say the same with most supplement companies. So we're going to do that today and that's probably going to be the supplement routine. And then in the future day of eating, you guys are going to see some of the variants, but I'm going to enjoy this and I'll see you guys for lunch. Actually, let me explain these supplements a little bit. I know you guys are familiar with the foods I've been eating because I've had these before in past day of eatings. Vitamin B1 typically gets depleted when you eat sugar and refined carbohydrates. So I usually have B1 in almost every single meal and I do notice a difference when I don't take it. This is really, really significant as well as certain other B vitamins. And I got to do a little more researching and reading on each of them and uh, go into specifics, but that's the reason we're taking B1. Molybdenum, boron, and manganese are trace minerals that are found in high quality plant foods. But you know, you know, if you like jerk off a lot or like you exercise a lot or your body is being like depleted of minerals and with like the soil mineral quality now, it's helpful to have these at least like a few times a month. I would say the molybdenum is the most efficient usually. Boron's the least important. And then manganese is kind of somewhere in between. So you definitely want to try these, especially the molybdenum if you've been on a carnivore diet. And the selenium is something I take uh, depending on my iodine intake as well. So this one can be pretty hard on the liver, but because we have a low dosage on organ supplements, it's actually very, very safe and good to take. But uh, I probably take this once or twice a week, whereas the other ones are a little bit less frequent. All right, guys, I feel like I've been awake for 20 hours, but it's <laughs> really only been like six or seven. Uh, 6 p.m. I'm having my second meal. I guess it's dinner time, although I would consider this lunch for me. So we have 
my barley stew. I showed you guys the recipe, I don't know, a few years ago now. It's the tenderloin stew meat from Frankie Strange Meat. Organic barley, organic white russet potatoes, organic shiitake mushrooms, organic white onions, and just the collagen broth from Frankie Strange Meat. And then I put in a little bit of salt and a little bit of bottled mineral water. So really, really complete stew. All the minerals, vitamins. I mean, it's got everything you need, really. You could only eat this and be very, very healthy. And for me, it's super convenient because uh, when I make it, I have like three days worth of food. So a lot less cooking, I just have to warm it up. Uh, and in the next day of eating, or who knows, I'll, I'll show you guys the, the kind of updated stew recipe and how I do it. But for today, I'm gonna have like two bowls of this for lunch, the one apple as usual. Uh, we will have more water kefir and water kefir grains with this meal. I'll probably have a banana rice crisp bar. I remember to bring some home today. And of course the masticum. For supplements, I'm just gonna have one vitamin B1 maybe don't really need it for this meal uh, the barley isn't as like bad as the white noodles or the sugar in the oats when it's like a whole food meal everything's as natural as possible like if you were just having steak and potatoes you don't really need to supplement much although i will say uh, i felt a lot of mental clarity and very energized after i did that mineral uh, routine this morning because i hadn't done it for a few weeks i was probably a little bit deficient in some of them so uh, I'm just going to eat, guys. Uh, you guys see the volume here. It's going to be about two bowls of this. We'll have the rest of the water kefir. Teaspoon of water kefir grains, half teaspoon of the mastic gum. I'll try to stick to one of these rice crisp bars, although I can definitely eat 10 of them. And uh, hopefully uh, we do dinner as well, but uh, I got to get up early and travel a little far tomorrow. So maybe we will, maybe we won't have a third meal, which is supposed to be um, the udon noodles with a few little tricks I'll show you guys. Let me break down the meal a little better. So we have the protein, the vitamins, the amino acids, the cholesterol, and the tenderloin. The potatoes that I put in here are a great source of minerals. I think I did a whole video on potatoes and how healthy they are. Uh, shiitake mushrooms, another excellent source of minerals. Barley in general is pretty good in B vitamins, very concentrated source of calories, very, very, very healthy grain. White onions I like for flavor, but you know, there's some gut motility and uh, feeding the gut bacteria benefits there for sure. Apples, the sugar guys, the fiber, just high volume, keep things moving. Kefir grains, we talked about the probiotics a little bit earlier, but for the banana rice crisp bar, this is brown rice, banana, oat flour, uh, macadamia nuts, hazelnuts. So it's really just more like bulk, carbohydrates, a little bit of healthy fats, just a nice treat to, you know, to put on some weight and keep it healthy and like very whole food based. All right guys, it's late at night and I'm having one final meal for the day. This is the udon noodles with the beef that I've showed you guys a few times with a slight variation. So in this we have those organic udon noodles, some of the 95.5 lean blend from Frankie's Free Range Meat, some of the collagen broth that I reinforced with more beef and also a little something special that I'll show you guys. Some of you might remember we did a white bean puree recipe a few months ago. I've been adding this to the noodles uh, for some extra fiber, gut motility. It's really made a difference. I was having problems with the noodle meal before, and this is just cannellini beans with some garlic and a little bit of coconut oil. So really, really great addition to the meal to add some more fiber. And then guys, I'm just gonna have an apple, and that's gonna be it before I go to bed. Uh, might have some B1, but we're not gonna do the water key for before bed, just some water. And of course, mastic gum with every meal, guys, but we're not gonna do any of the supplements or any of the water key for, for dinner. So that's it for today. Let me know how you guys like this quicker style day of eating where I just kind of go over the meal real quick and, uh, you know, don't sit down and eat for minutes and minutes and minutes. But if you guys do like that where I take some more time, please let me know and we could definitely do that next week or the week after. Uh, that noodle meal, guys, is just the same principles of everything we have. The animal protein for the B vitamins, all the nutrition, the noodles for the carbohydrates, the starch, feed the gut microbiome for the energy, bean puree for that, that added fiber, especially the soluble fiber, keep things moving, and then just the apple for some more gut motility. So you guys can go to frank if you would like to check out all of my businesses and support me. But outside of that, guys, as always, please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you soon.